What's up, all? Wake. Rest. This album came out in 2011 on Relapse Records. Wake are a six-piece from Little Rock, Arkansas, and they play Doom slash Sludge Metal. And yes, their name is pronounced Wake and not R Wake. And there is a story behind why there is an R in front of Wake. I found an interview with CT, the vocalist for Wake, and members of Wake were robo-tripping together, or simply just getting loaded on cough syrup, or cough syrups with the active ingredient dextromethorphan, and while tripping pretty hard, they kept trying to say Wake, and they were slurring their words, and it just kept coming out, Wake? Wake? So the band decided to adopt the R, because there's just so many other bands out there that are called The Wake, or Wake, or Wake of This, Wake of That, and to just stand apart from that whole mess of just copyright infringement, they adopted the R in front of Wake, but it is still pronounced Wake. And for those of you out there who are not familiar with Wake, they play very thick, multi-layered, psychedelic and cathartic, Sludge slash Doom with a lot of classical guitar work spread throughout it. And everything flows very much like jazz music in the sense that there's very much to devour, pick apart. And, and the fact that they are a six piece just adds so many things that we, you can just dig through when listening to an Awake album. And they have a sound that is undeniably their own, undeniably wake, due to the many different aspects of their sound. First with CT's vocal delivery, that sounds very militant, as if he's leading a platoon, and he needs all of his men to hear his every request. And CT's vocals remind me a whole lot of Dwight Hellion's From Integrity, especially on the track, It Was Beautiful But Now It's Sour which is a track that's just seething with deep pits of sludge. And within those deep pits, it almost sounds as if there is a whole other band playing within the belly of Wake Sound. And all together with the pits and what's playing on the surface, it feels as if Wake are a unit, and they are fighting with all their being to slay their way out of this hell that they've gotten themselves into, while evil-sounding riffs just swarm your eardrums. And on the track The Invisible Thread, the six-piece builds upwards and upwards with fascinating instrumentation that is flooded with so many twists and bends before we plateau into sludge, doom, black metal with absolutely raw snare work, before being dropped back into these sludge-filled trenches repeatedly. And while listening to this track, I'm just thinking of how amazing and damaged a six-piece can sound in a single track. And in the latter part of the record, we get into more prog-type territory with the track The Culling, which is a 16-minute track which begins with a raw analog recording of a bell and a voice that utters one word after every time the bell is rang. And the phrase stated is, it is later than you think. And after that, acoustic guitars sweep in, Moog with synthesis sweeps in, and slowly we're building up, each instrument slowly coming in, until at about the six minute mark, we're often running in prog territory with a combination of very warm and uplifting riffs and absolutely ugly, just southern swamp riffs, just playing at the same time in like multi layers within the track. And the track was Only a Dream, which uses a lot of 70s progressive riffing mixed with psychedelic rock very trippy riff work, and the vocals bend from CT's very militant sounding vocals into these black metal fits, and it's just draped in like heavy metal noodling and 
There's a lot of different things going on in this record, and I'm constantly being impressed by how much damage, which I, which I mentioned before, how much damage a six-piece can do. And I've mentioned jazz earlier because I've been listening to a lot of Art Blakey lately, and just the, the multi-layers within Art Blakey's music, and how at times the musicians are running off into all different directions, and at the same time sounds very cohesive. And Wake does the same thing, you know, everyone's running off in different directions, but it's also cohesive. It all has the same desired task within the track, and if you're into Sludge and Doom, Wake is definitely a band you should check out. The musicianship that all six of these players possess is amazing, and I'm going to link some tracks in the description box below along with live footage of Wake playing and interviews with Wake. And definitely peep this out, form your own opinion about them, and let me know what you think. It's Wake, Rest, and this album came out in 2011 on Relapse Records. Thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time.